welcome to another vi video. I recently p purchased something that is quite possibly going to be the best thing that I have in my office. So, what, what, what I have in front of me right now is a 1 to 18 uh, Dick myself P72. Okay, so firstly, what we have here is a box about the thing that she uh, comes in. Now, the car's not actually in this box, but I just want to sh 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 show you this box. Here's a box. I know it seems like a basic box, but you've got um, a nice bit of from there uh, that says a website, uh, as well as the, the brand, which is Pico, and resin is the. It's basically what the car is made of. As we open the lid, there you This is really, really nice actually because the front of it actually opens up. That's actually a really nice thing because it means you, you don't have to bother about trying to get the car out. Which is, which uh, for a car that's in the case. The case can be like really like off towards the walls and it can be really hard so like that. There's like an open pizza there. Makes it much easier. Uh, you've also got the uh, covers there which go over the case. And here is the car. It, this main reason why you actually uh, wanted to watch this video. So this is it. The Dead Tommaso. P72 by Pico. And I've realised it's the one way around. There you go. <laughs> also, I'm wearing these nice, nice white little uh, gloves so that I don't put any marks on the casing of the car. Because, yes, you can take the case off. So, here's a basing. Now, based on a presentation, it's really nice. The uh, case is really clear and it's all really well done. Uh, and then you've got this a nice uh, dark brown leather basing uh, which shows the logo. This is the D Tommaso logo. And then over here you've got the P72 patch which is the uh, the logo name for the car and then just just down there you've got a limited edition plaque uh, this car is run to only 200 units and I've managed to get number 50 that's a quite nice number actually uh, so yeah to talk about the whole c c car itself there's one thing that I will say right away which is the paintwork is so amazing. Photos or, or videos do not do this car's justice. Honestly, the paint is absolutely fantastic. Of course, everything that's on the model is just like the real life version. But just talking about the paintwork, it's like in a deep, darkish way. That's also got like a very bright metallic glare and it's absolutely fantastic and Pico have knocked it out of the park. I was taking f f photos earlier for f Facebook and you just don't get as much two-tone that's in it and the metallic fleck just does not pop out as much as we in real life. We've also got uh, loads of rose gold accents which are uh, on the wheels which have been uh, replicated really, really well. Uh, you've also got w rose gold on the door mirrors which are absolutely fantastic. They, they, they look really delicate kit. However, they are fixed pretty well so it's no way that anyone is gonna take those wind mm -mm, off. Uh, you've also got 
a nice bit of gold one one bit sauced. Fantastic. Uh, you first got a black uh, engine c cover. Uh, you you also you first actually got some rose gold uh, down here. I think that is a fuel a cap, but I'm not entirely sure. But it looks like it will be because that that's the only place possible that looks like it might be a heel cap. But that's just amazing. Uh, so moving on to the front. You've got this amazing layer of photo action mesh. Uh, the front headlights have been replicated fantastically. You've got loads of d d detail uh, going from the top and lower headlight bolts. Toes might be the only way you can actually c catch it. Uh, you've also got some n nice sh sheets. Uh, Going down there, directing air through towards the wheels, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Once again, I'm just going to say the paintwork is absolutely fantastic. You've got the uh, logo for for a c c company it's up here. That, by the way, is not a sticker. That is a M body. Uh, <laughs> Logo that's been perfectly placed. Got these nice sweeping lines, which I absolutely love. Like you got these nice um, sh shapes going up on the wheel arses, but you've also got this bit which dips in so nicely. It's so immensely sh shaped, yet it the car just looks so. Elegant and it's amazing. Metal windscreen wipe, protection lash, gown at the front uh, vent, in which you can actually sort of see massive radiators. So uh, that's really nice attention to detail. You've got the rose gold uh, door mirrors attached to this really thin piece of. Resin and it's just it's just fantastic. Ruby air g g goes back towards the si side of the car. Underneath, actually, you've got some bits of c c carbon fiber, uh, which is also d d directing air through the back tires. And then uh, once again, you've got the air going through towards the re re rear site where this is enormously fantastically uh, placed uh, site vent which would ha have then uh, gone in towards uh, to send air into the engine and it's been really well made this is something about this car with the way the lines are just made I just make the car just seem so amazing it's Personally, I, I I really wanted to see this car in person just because of the lines it is, and it's just it's just breathtaking. <laughs> no, you're breathtaking. And then you've also got photo action mesh uh, along the vents as well as the exhaust. Now that's a little bit odd, but duh, I don't care. <laughs> So right here, you've got a massive central exhaust. Probably one of the most controversial yet amazing um, pieces of this c c c car. This car, to lots of people, is a bit like Marmite. A lot of people like it, a lot of people absolutely hate it and think it's really ugly. I'm personally not one of those people who think it's ugly. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's so elegant. Yeah, so out of this world, it's fantastic. Anyway, as we move our way down, we will get back to the inside of the car because that is just fantastic as well. But firstly, move on to the back of the car. So, round the back, you've of course got uh, a suit piece of mesh, which is white in the centre because there's no 
exhaust one back. There's only one exhaust and it's right on the top of, top of the car. Uh, I should also mention this really, this really lightly lifted, almost like, it's almost like a duck tail sp spoiler and it's almost like it's trying to hark back to these cars of the 1960s slash 70s and I, I just love it. Anyway, you've got this massive piece of mesh, you've got some gold text saying uh, D Tommaso and you've got the P72 um, logo also on, on the mesh and you've also got some little gold uh, sh shapes going around the ends of the mesh which is absolutely fantastic. And then you've got these two bright, giant uh, rear headlights which have been replicated once again to a T. You've got so many tiny slats which just slightly go in towards the rear of the car because the rear headlights are like popping out almost like that. Which is the whole exterior of the car. No words can even describe how amazing this is. And then let's move ourselves over to the rear of the... Not rear. Interior of the car. And we shall not t talk about the in interior just yet without talking about the doors. More significantly, the windows of the doors. Because, unlike the past cars that I've done these uh, v v v videos of, which are mostly made by auto art. Those are die cast c c cars, which means you get opening parts and things like that. This is not an opening piece. You can't open anything in it, but, uh, but there's something about resin c c cars that you just don't get in die cast cars, and that is immense detail. <laughs> And it's why, if you had like a diecast car, I think it would be ridiculously hard to actually get paintwork as amazing as this on a car that's made of diecast metal. So, anyway, moving on to the doors. So, just like cars like the McLaren F1, uh, McLaren Senna and things like that, you've got like two piece windows. You've got like a really small piece there, which is probably the heart that will uh, go down because the higher end part is just one big curvy bit that goes right over the roof as well, so you can also be used as a sunroof. Pretty cool actually, because it means you can actually see what's inside the car. Now, the seats. The seats have been uh, done really well. Uh, it's not the best part of a car, but it's also fantastic. You've got the uh, racing style four to six uh, point harness uh, fitted onto these nice tan, uh, what look like tan leather seats, which is just mm, beautiful. And I think it really works because when you have wet, if you have like a type of wet like this, having a tan interior works every time. Um, so yeah, that's the seats, but if you move further to the front of the interior, this is where things get really interesting. You've got, thing, you've got all of these amazing tiny little detailed dials precisely in rose gold just like the launch c c car and it's this is fantastic and then you and then you've got the wheel in which the top and lower part are made of carbon fiber uh, the sides are made out of a tan leather and you've got tiny little bits inside of the wheel as well just just absolutely Meliscope pieces 
but I also done in rose gold. So um, yeah, that's been the vi video on the D Tomaso P72 made by Pico. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video.